Okay, per uh, request I got, I'm going to do a video uh, here on gradient intercept form. And this is in the formula booklet for IB Math Studies. Uh, we have y equals mx plus c is right here. Okay, so what we can do, okay, well, first of all, what does everything mean? Well, anytime you see the m, the number in front of the x right here, um, that is the gradient. Okay. And then any time you see uh, the C, uh, that's, you know, the y-intercept right there. Okay. Now, this is a great formula because from this formula you can not only graph lines very easily, but you can um, write equations of lines very easily as well. So um, we'll do a little bit of that. We're going to write some equations in just a second. But if you look at this, you know, if you look at the gradient, the gradient is how steep things are. So, you know, if you had, um, you know, if you had a, you know, a line, whoops, uh, not the straightest thing in the world. Okay, so let's say you had a coordinate plane like this, and you have x, y, and, you know, if you want, uh, just a couple things to notice, if you wanted, you know, a line with, uh, you know, a positive gradient, it would look something like this, you know, and let's say that that, you know, in this case, you know, it's it's positive when it goes like that, and that's, you know, 2, say it crosses at 2, so the y-intercept there is 2. Um, you know, if we want a, you know, negative gradient, we could, you know, draw a line like that, okay? And in this case, you know, the y-intercept would be 0. So, you know, that formula might be like, you know, something like this. y equals negative x or something like that. They wouldn't really write the plus 0. This one might be, you know, something like, um, you know, y equals, I don't know, x plus 2. Something like that. Okay, and then, you know, if you have you know, a horizontal line, you know, like this. Well, that's a great horizontal line. Um, you know, obviously the uh, gradient there is zero, so we wouldn't have any x's, so that would just be, you know, y equals, let's say it crossed it, you know, negative two. It'd be y equals negative two. Okay, so that's basically how, how it works out. Um, let's go ahead and do a problem, a couple problems with, with gradient intercept form. Okay, the first problem it basically uh, wants to see if you understand what gradient intercept form means. Uh, it says the following diagrams show six lines with equations in the forms of y equals mx plus c. So you have line, you know, uh, let's see, we have l1, l2, l3, l4, l5, l6. Okay. In the table below, there are four possible conditions for the pair of values of m and c. So the slope, or excuse me, gradient in the y-intercept. Match each of the given conditions with one of the lines drawn above. Okay, so the first one we have, let's see, what do we got here? We got m is greater than uh, 0, so it has a positive slope, and c is greater than 0. So we're looking for a line, you know, for the first one that goes like this, and has a positive y-intercept. So, you know, that one uh, that one has a positive m, but it has a negative y-intercept. That one has a negative m. That has a positive m. Okay, so it's going to be this one right here. It's going to be L5 because uh, it crosses at... Um, uh, I don't know, whatever. This is a positive number. It doesn't tell you. It doesn't have to tell you. It's not, not a big deal. Uh, okay, so let's look at the second one. Uh, it says m is less than 0 and c is greater than 0. Okay, so that would be a negative slope, negative gradient. Sorry, I, I'm American. I always say slope. Um, negative gradient um, and uh, a positive y-intercept. So we're looking for a line that's going to go this way and cross, you know, high. So oh, it's going to be this one right here because this has a negative gradient and then a positive um, y-intercept. So that's going to be L4, like that. Okay? And then let's you know, look for the next one. Uh, it says M is less than 0, C is less than 0. So we want a negative with uh, 
a negative y-intercept. So, you know, this is negative, and look, it's got a negative y-intercept. So that, that would be L1. Okay, and finally, you know, let's go through. It says M is less than 0 and C is less than 0. Oh, is there another one that's negative that goes through there? Let's see here. Uh, okay, and the last one, I had to stop there because I, the, originally, you know, the, the fourth problem here said the exact same thing as the third problem. Um, so I had to look through the, the mark scheme and it was written pr improperly. So let's look at this. M is greater than zero. Um, so that's, you know, M is greater than zero. So that's a positive, you know, gradient and C is less than zero. So that would be right here, you know, it's a positive gradient and C is less than zero, so that will be L3 right there. That was weird. Occasionally there's a misprint, so you just have to deal with it. All right, uh, let's roll on and let's do one with a little more algebra in it. Okay, so in this one it says consider line L is 2x plus y plus 4 equals 0. Um, write down the gradient of L. Okay, well, if we want to find out the gradient here, the best thing you can do, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but the best way to do it is just to put it in gradient-intercept form. So remember, um, you know, the gradient-intercept form is y equals mx plus c. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve this one for, for y. Okay, so we have 2x plus uh, y plus 4 equals 0. Well, I'm just, I want y by itself, so I'm just going to have y. I'm going to move the other ones over. So if it's 2x here, on the other side, it's going to be negative 2x, because when you switch it side, you switch the side. When you switch over the equal sign, it, it, it becomes opposite. And then plus 4 would be minus 4. So once you have a gradient intercept form, you know, we can look at it and see, you know, what's in front of the x right here. So our gradient is negative 2. Okay, so pretty straightforward there. Let's check out the, the next one. Okay, it says write down the gradient of a line that's perpendicular to you. Okay, well, in this case, you know, M line L is the gradient is negative 2. And I'm just going to make it negative 2 over 1 because it, it's you'll see in just a second. It needs to be a fraction. Um, now, if it, the line was parallel, it would have the same slope. But if it's um, perpendicular, it had the slope is the negative reciprocal. So all you have to do for the this is you just have to flip the fraction over. So instead of 2 over 1, it's going to be 1 over 2. And then it's negative, so make it positive. So in this case, our uh, slope for the perpendicular line is going to be you know, uh, 1 half. So it's the negative reciprocal or opposite reciprocal um reciprocal. okay so you know all you do is flip it over and change the sign so if it were positive this would be negative um, but it's negative so it's positive and then you flip the fraction over okay that's something you just kind of have to uh, memorize okay they always have perpendicular ones on these tests too and parallel just remembers the same slope okay and finally c um, write the equation of a line perpendicular to l passing through the point 5, 3, give your answer in the form ax plus by equals d. Okay, where a, b, and d are an element of integers. Okay, these are um, a little bit kind of dicey, but let, let's, the, basically the way you do this is you start with y equals mx plus c. Okay, we know what m is. m is going to be 1 half, okay? Now, what are x and y? We also know x and y. Well, the, you know, we, they give us a point. So x is going to be 5 and y is going to be 3. So we can sub all these in and solve for c. So what am I going to do here? So I'm going to go, um, you know, uh, boom, 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 boom. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, okay, so we go 3 equals 1 half times 5 plus c. Okay? So we get, you know, c equals... Um, you know, what is that, 2.5 or 5 halves plus C. And then if you subtract 3 minus 2.5 here, you would get, you know, 0.5. Um, so 
you know, 0.5 equals C. So if we were to write this equation, it would be Y equals, you know, one half X plus one half. Okay. Now they want it in the they want it to equal zero. They want it in this form right here. Okay. So we have to move everything again back to the other side. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna put everything you know I'm gonna move it all over here. So I'm gonna you know um, again to do that all you have to do is change the sign. So I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna put it in order and I'm gonna move this over. Okay. So what we get we get negative one half x. Um, plus y minus one half equals zero. Okay, and then they want it as an element of integers, um, so that means it has to be you know whole numbers. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. So all you have to do is is multiply by the denominator here here to clear it out. Now if this were two and this were three, you might have to multiply by six, um, but you can just use your you know your graphing calculator for this. So I would I would multiply by two. So 2 times negative 1 half is just negative 1x, or just negative x. 2 times y is plus 2y. You know, and then this 2 times uh, negative, negative 1 half is negative 1, and then equals 0. Uh, you know, and once you do that, you should be good to go. Oh, and just one other thing, like here, I mean, we this is fine, this answer is acceptable, but, you know, oftentimes they want you, the x to be positive, so in this case, you know, I'm just going to multiply everything by negative 1, and just to make it positive, so it, basically all it does is change all the signs, so it'd be x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I guess this is the answer in the mark scheme, but this would be acceptable as well. So anyway, um, I hope this video helped out. Uh, y equals mx plus c. It's a good formula. It helps you write equations. Uh, you know, it could help you graph equations as well. Um, and there you go. All right, take it easy.